Hey everyone, I'm here with Grace and I'm really excited because we are doing an Angelina Jolie salt makeup and uh, it's from the poster, I'll pop it up. It's very heavy dark black eye makeup, sort of catted out and the rest of the face is quite neutral. Grace is gonna help me get the look, we're gonna get started. I'm first just putting on, uh, we're using a lot of Lara Mercier today. Um, I know I've been using a lot of Lancome lately, so I thought I'd switch it up a bit. This is the foundation primer. I love it. It's nice and light, but really holds on to the foundation, smooths everything out. Now I'm putting on a foundation. The color is Sunny Beige, again by Laura Mercier. And it's got a nice coverage to it. Once I blend it in, it's going to be closer to Grace's skin tone, but the look is pretty washed out. So I've just blended all of that in. I'm just dusting some translucent loose powder on Grace. And this, this is Laura Mercier as well. You guys are gonna get sick of me saying that, but uh, this is nice because it has no color to it. I don't want the foundation to darken. So the first thing I'm gonna put on the eyes is the eye base. This is an eyeshadow primer and it's in flax. Just dab it on and then just rub it on with your fingers. This has a little bit of an iridescent glow to it, so it just gives the whole eye a nice base and then really grabs onto the eyeshadow quite well. Now that I've got my primer on, the first color I'm putting on is called Vanilla Nuts and it's a really neutral color. It's matte, so there's no shimmer to it. She's got a pretty matte look and it's great for the highlight just above the eyebrow or just below the eyebrow. From the picture it was sort of hard to tell what color was on the eyelid uh, so I actually looked it up and they used a pewtered color metallic -y sort of color just on the eyelid and a bit in the contour. This is the Lancome from their Pop and Palette. The darker pewter. Now I'm just going to fill in Grace's eyebrows. They're beautiful so they don't need much shaping. Angelina has them pretty dark obviously because she's got her dark hair and this is going to look even better because we've got a wig that we're going to put on Grace for the end of the video. It's going to look really cool. So just with an angled eyebrow brush and I'm actually using eyeshadow a dark brown from one of my Lancome palettes. Now for the most important part of this look, I'm using a painting pot for the eyeliner, not a liquid eyeliner, and it's on a really tiny, tiny brush. I'm gonna start center of the eye, just bring it along the lash line. And the nice thing with the, the painting pot is that you can really then start to blend it and work it up because we're doing a cat eye with this. So I'm not gonna put any more on it unless I need it. And I'm just gonna slowly work out this section because it's gonna go nice and high. Get your nice V going right there. Now I'm just gonna bring a thinner line down to the corner and then match it up. Now for the false eyelashes, big part of this look. I've cut these ones in half, a nice strip of glue on, not too much. And then let it set just for about 30 seconds so it gets a little sticky. They're gonna go uh, about center of the eye, get it as close to the lash line but just above it. Now I'm gonna put mascara on under that to meet up with the falsies and this is Bobbi Brown Jet Black. And in the photo, her actual eyelashes and the falsies are sort of separate, so I'm not gonna go nuts on meeting them up. They sort of have this two-layered look. But we're gonna give them a good coat of black. So now we're using that same paint pot, the black, to do the waterline, and this stuff is awesome because it really goes on black and it stays on and it's also really gentle on the eyes and we need to bring this right into the corner that's where she has it the heaviest so we're gonna 
blend that out. Now I'm going under the eye with some black eyeshadow and what I just put on the waterline is going to blend down into it. It's really nice and blendable. I'm going to go a little thicker on this end. I'm going to lighten up on the middle and then it's going to come thicker down here. Now I'm just going to go over all of that with a silver eyeshadow. Just a, any light silver will do. This is a Lancome one, and it just softens it a bit and gives a little bit more of a highlight. And then we're gonna put our mascara on the bottom. I like to wipe the wand and then use the tip so you don't get too clumpy. Angelina's got a pretty neutral cheek color in the poster, so I'm going with one La Mercier again, and it's called Plum Radiance. It's just pretty light color. I'm going to concentrate it on the contour and then we'll just blend down. So I'm just putting a little bit of foundation on Grace's lips because it's a really nude look. And then to finish the look, Angelina's got a really shiny gloss on. This is La Mercier and it's called Opal. It's pretty nude, especially over the foundation. And we're not going any lip liner. We're just doing straight gloss. Okay, so this really rocks it out. I had a nice little surprise here for the wig because Grace doesn't have bangs. And wow, that's gorgeous wig. Actually, this wig I found at a store called Advantu, which uh, they do sell online. I'll put the link below for you guys because I thought the wigs were awesome and the prices were great. A little bit more gloss because she sure has it on thick and shiny. And that is the Angelina Jolie look from the Salt movie poster. Thank you so much, Grace. You were very patient. That took a while. You look awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks.